Hey y'all, Irick Sky here. Welcome back to another Schwinn IC4 video. And this is in response to a question from Sonia. And she's asking about uh, moving the seat forwards or backwards and, uh, and moving the handlebars forward or backwards. So, you know, how do you do that? Sonia, thanks again. I appreciate it. Uh, Sonia actually uh, said that she picked up her IC4 through the link within this video's description. I really appreciate that. It helps my channel. I'm an independent YouTube channel. So how do you adjust your seat? So first of all, this is the angle I've got my seat. So if you want to make this go up or this go down, now that's going to require a tool. And to do that, you would need a tool that could, that could loosen this bolt. And then it, when it's loose, then you could tilt up the saddle up or you could tilt the saddle down, you know, whatever your personal preference is. Now sliding this further back or further forward is actually really simple. This handle right here does not require a tool. So what you do, and I'm going to do my best to demonstrate this, you push, there's a little button right there. You push that button. You don't actually even have to push the button. You can pull down. See, this is, this is on, uh, I'm trying to think the best way to visualize this. So, so left is going to go loose, right's going to go tight. Left you loose, you right you tight. So you can pull this down and after you pull it down, you can reposition this over there. So in this scenario, if I wanted to move the seat, because right now it's tight, I would position this, I would pull down and then position this far away from me. And then when I grab the handle, there's a greater range of motion. So if I pull to the left, it'll loosen it. See, so check this out. And it, it requires quite a grip. So see, now I can loosen it. So right now I'm kind of right here. If I want to go forward, I can go forward. If I want to go backwards, I can go backwards. So I'm going to put it back where it was because that's kind of optimal for me. So see, now it's still, it's still loose. So to tighten it, what I'm going to do is it's going to be the opposite. So before I start tightening, I'm going to flip this sucker around to the other side because remember, it's going to pull towards me to tighten. I'm sorry, it's going to go the other way because righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Yeah, that's how it is. So see, righty tighty. So I'm gonna go this way, and now I need to tighten it more so I can pull down. When I pull down, it doesn't put pressure on the on the bolt, and now I can hand tighten it more. So see now, and don't get it too tight to where you can't hand loosen it or hand tighten it in the future. So you know, just kind of gauge your own your own strength. But see now, I've got it tightened. The seat won't move forwards or forward or backwards. And uh, now what I can do, since I've got it tight, I can pull this down again. So I'm going to use my other hand. Pull that down again to loosen it. See, I'm not loosening or tightening. And then stick it there. The reason I did that is that, see, now that is between there. It's not sticking out to the left or the right where, I could, where it could hit my leg. But see, now it's tight. I positioned it like I wanted to. So again, you know, that's how you do it. So remember just, you know, when you, you can pull this down and it's not going to put any pressure on the, on the nut to, uh, to loosen or tighten. So if you're going to loosen it, um, just kind of bring it, you know, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So I hope that made sense. I, I know it's, it's kind of weird. I'm holding this camera. Now the same is true for the front. So for the handlebars, and I've got mine like I like them, but if I wanted to slide them more to the front, the handlebars have this same type of mechanism. See right there? And see, it'll pop down and you can, so depending upon whether you're tightening it, tightening it or loosening, loosening it, loosening it rather, you would want to pull this down and, and pull to the, uh, to the correct side. And keep in mind that this, because of the design, you're not going to have a full range of motion. So I would just bring it, you know, over here or to the other side when you're tightening and loosening. And, uh, you know, that'll, that'll give you, that should give you enough range of motion to be able to loosen it up to where you can move the handlebars. And obviously you already mentioned that you know how to make the seat higher. I mean, that's, that's pretty straightforward the way this is. You just loosen, pull out, and then you can slide up or slide down. Uh, same situation with the handlebars you know as you mentioned you're you're familiar with the uh the handlebars the lever 
to raise or lower the handlebars is there, but you already knew that. And I really appreciate it. Thanks again. Uh, thanks again for shopping my links. I hope this video helped you. I know that it probably would have been better if I had my tripod and, and had a better camera angle, but hopefully, hopefully that was enough to, uh, to get you in there on video and, and show you how to, uh, you know, how to move the handlebars forward or backwards and how to move the seat forward or backwards. And again, if you want to adjust the tilt of the seat, you're going to have to have a tool that'll go over that little nut right there. So thanks again. Best of luck with your fitness goals. I hope you enjoy your IC4 as much as I have. Oh, and if you haven't checked it out, you ought to check out the Apple Fitness Plus app. Uh, I've been using, I've used several apps with my IC4 so far, Zwift, um, Full Gas, Peloton app, and now Apple Fitness Plus. And actually, I like Apple Fitness Plus the most out of all of those. I mean, it's it's a matter of personal preference, but I've really enjoyed it. So best of luck, and, and thanks again. And everybody else out there is watching this. If you have any questions or curiosities about the IC4, just comment below and ask, and I'll try to uh, try to answer your questions as well. I appreciate it, and best of luck with everyone's fitness goals.